Hello, Jenna Happy Place. We're back to online class for this Saturday. And the plan is next week uh, I'll be back into actual Jenna Happy Place and I will do live stream again. And then we have another online class and again in person. That's the plan till um, summer holidays. So we're gradually bringing up the uh, back in person. It was really nice and, uh, last week when I went there to have people actually creating where I did the live stream. It was my first live stream, so apologies if it wasn't uh, good enough, but I tried and I will do live stream again next week. So hopefully we get people who are not joining us in person because not everyone can and we, we can only accommodate a limited number of people. Um, but, you know, the positive aspect of that is that we are able to deliver now blended approach, which we never had before. This week we're working with markers and oil pastels, so two different art materials. Um, both of them give you very quickly um, quick color. Um, but the only rule to remember, and you know I'm not about the rules, but this is the only one to remember, do not put your marker on top of oil pastel because you are going to lose your marker. Basically, it, it will get the oil in and it will stop working. So what we're doing is very abstractish and it's working with line and color. So we have different pieces we're creating. Look at it this way, this way, and I also have four smaller ones. So this is done uh, in a way of experimenting with composition and line. We're doing one which is vertical, one horizontal, and then one which is cut into fours. Those pieces look great if you put them against darker background later. I haven't done it here, I haven't got that kind of paper with me. But especially the smaller pieces, because it's going to be very colourful. If you have plain, darker background, it, they look fantastic. This is very contemporary kind of approach, but playful at the same time. And it's about making marks and then finding shapes in your line work to be able to fill in that with the colour. I think this is my favourite, actually, now I'm looking at it now. So have a, have a go, see what happens, um, and you may be surprised that you're able to create Tate Modern kind of art. Um, so let me see how that works for you. Bye-bye. Okay, let's get started. So this time we're working with two art materials that um, maybe normally you wouldn't combine. But you can combine them um, if you just follow a simple principle that oil pastel is your last layer. So we're having oil pastels and work with whatever you have. Um, cheap brand is really good for this activity. As long as you have colors you want to work with. And then we're working with markers. Now they can be any markers. I have some Sharpies here. Um, but you can have, if you happen to be working with markers in art, you may have some Posca pens, they're great, um, but they're quite expensive, you don't need them, you can have just the normal markers, those ones is a selection of markers I got from Lidl for literally £3, I think it was. Um, in terms of markers, if you could have um, different sizes, that would be brilliant, so something that's got quite wide nib, and then some quite um, thin ones that gives you quite fine lines. So we'll be working with variety of line thickness here. And make sure you have one that's like a fine liner or biro pen. So it's more like writing the really thin line because that will give you really interesting results. So if you can have different ones, that'll be great. You can also work with highlighters here. And if you don't have oil pastels, you can replace them with highlighters. Um, so that's something uh, to bear in mind. And saying that, I'm just going to get one of my highlighters here, just to show you maybe how, maybe this one, that's more classic kind of, we can incorporate those ones as well. So the principle is to make um, lots of uh, line work, very spontaneous, um, going into different directions with different markers, uh, and, and then choose some colors you know to be dominant um, and then on top of that wherever we create shape that is closed i mean the shape that you can fill in you will be using all pastels to add the color and i'm going to show you three different ways of doing that so you can have 
a really good experience. Let me just put those on the side. One will be we'll be using uh, what's called diagonal uh, layout composition. So we'll be working from corner to corner, opposite corner. The one will be um, we're using in more horizontal way. One will be using in more portrait, um, um, like portrait orientation. And then one you may see it go lines. I folded that into four. We use um, still diagonal, but maybe. Um, doing two corners and then two corners and then cut it into four separate compositions. So let's get started. Um, always have one of those fine liners. It's good to start. That gives you quite precise and defined line. And then I'm going to go for a few colors. So you don't want to go with, you know, too many colors, but I need something dominant, something visible. So I'm having blue. This is dark blue. I'm going to grab this orangey reddish kind of marker. Um, and this one has two nibs. It's called white. And this one is um, much smaller. And then I'm going to go for yellow. So I have red, blue, yellow. I have my fine liner. Um, just thinking about... That will do because the rest of, of color I can do with oil pastels. Right, so this one we're working from um, composition is going to be from top corner to the bottom corner. Just making sure you can see. So just remove what's underneath. Okay. So this is the selection of markers I'm working with and my fine liner. And now I try to keep it loose and hold them on the on the end. So, you know, I'm not being tight and precise. I'm allowing, by holding it this way, I'm allowing the, my hand to have free movement, but also will create uncontrolled um, la shapes. And also sometimes you may even go in like, you know, for short periods of time. <coughs> Excuse me, closing your eyes and see what happens. So let me just start with this one. So I'm working from corner to corner. It doesn't mean I have to have one continuous line. That's my first line. Let me go with the red one. So you can see now where the lines overlap, I started having some close shapes, that's what I was on about. With this I will go with the wide um, nib. And I'm left with yellow. Okay, so that's my first. And now uh, you can always come back to markers. This one, I've just one more visible because I think it's just about to die this one it doesn't give me much ink when I use it for drawing can I add something here right and then use your pastels or pastels to bring some color into the shapes so find the shapes that were created by overlapping marker lines and the one principle to remember, don't go on top of our pastel now with marker because it will ruin your marker. So we're doing marker first, then we're going with our pastel. Okay. I think I want to 
find something pinkish here. Yeah. This is a bit like coloring in, but you don't have to worry about going here. I'm going outside the lines. It's not about that. It's just about building new composition. Sorry, this should just crumbled. Um, And now I definitely feel there's a need for some definition. Um, I'm going to go with my white marker. I'm not going where the markers are because that would ruin this one. But I will use, you can also use old pastel here now. I'm just going to create some darker areas. Yeah, that needed that. Okay, so that's my first composition that way and now you know also have a look how does it work when you turn it so let's now work in more vertical way and let's repeat so I'm gonna with my I'm still having this one here this white marker So this one is very different and blue, a lighter blue. And you can see how all pastel is changing it straight away. Yeah, and then you can add. I'm going to add marker, but not where my pastel is. I want something quite thin. Oh, that's another composition. And we have that and that. This one looks quite floral to me. I don't know if you agree, especially when I started doing this part here. It's quite floral. And then let's play with the one where we can have two diagonal ones and then cutting that into four compositions uh, for like a mini cards Like that blue so I'm just gonna come back to see this is what may happen you may come back and decide actually I want to add something here that's better And now I'm going to have one here, so crossing it.
this one now I'm going to cut into fours so I have like a four different uh, cards Here we go. Which one's your favorite? You can vote. So yeah, that's that's interesting. You know, you could arrange them like that on a bigger piece of paper. That would be quite a nice abstractish kind of composition. Maybe on a black or dark piece of paper. That would look quite good. And then we had those ones we experimented with first. So have a go. This is very tight modern kind of stuff. I love that kind of place, something that really brings the colour, you know, bravery in mark making, back in you, and freedom. Just experiment. If you have kids, that's something we, you can do together as well. Okay, have fun, and let me see what you created.